Does your company use the same vendors all the time and you find that you're manually entering the information again and again into your monday.com boards? Let me show you how you can set up a vendors board that you can easily link to other boards so you can pull in that information and not have to enter in the information every single time. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner. My goal is to make Monday the best part of your week. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. So let's jump in to today's tutorial. In order to have this set up, we need three different boards. The first is a vendors board. This is literally a list of vendors. You can see here that they're divided by groups, flowers, band, caterer, and it's simply a list. We have contact information, phone number. You can really add whatever you want, but it's simply a list. The third board is a vendor dashboard, which I'm going to go into a little bit later to explain the point of it. And the third board is a working board. This is where you actually do your tasks and manage your events. For this specific use case, I'm working with a client who manages weddings, but there's different parts of the weddings. Like there's the rehearsal dinner and then the reception, and they want to keep track of all of the events for that specific wedding in one place. So because of that, we decided to separate it into different boards. So you would see they have wedding one and wedding two. If you work in this, in this method, you just should make sure you make a template. So that way you have it for every single event that you have. Now let's jump into this board a little bit more. So what we have here is obviously we have a people column, which says who's responsible for the task, the status, the due date. I did add a whole part about budget, which I'm not going to go into now, but you can see we have approved budget price and then budget left, which is simply a formula column. The important part is connecting to the vendor. So let's say we're working on the rehearsal dinner and we want to choose a hall. So all that I would do is I need to choose a hall from my list. The question is, how did I set that up? What I did is I added a connected boards column and I just connected to the vendors board. That's it, it's super easy. Now, when I hit plus, so I wanna, I wanna look for a hall. So I can search for, sorry, for my halls. And here I decided that I wanna do it at the Hilton. So now I know that this hall for my rehearsal dinner is at the Hilton. And again, I can go through all the different events and just add my vendors. I do want to say that I have seen this similar setup in many different kinds of companies. I actually work with a touring company and they used it for their producers and their different venues. They just had a list of venues and a list of producers. And every time they would just fill in the information, like pick a venue from a list based on a city, as opposed to having to pull it in. In that specific case, so we also added things like price, capacity. So you could be a little creative with what information is on your vendor list. You just need to think about what is something that I'm going to constantly need time and time again, that I want, it makes sense for me to enter it onto my vendor board so I can just pull it in. The last thing that I want to show you is this vendor dashboard. This vendor dashboard is used solely for the purpose of when you need to speak to the vendors. Now in this example of a wedding, a wedding planner, so she can have a number of weddings that all are using, let's say the same flower company, and she may want to have a call with them to review the details of all of the weddings. So instead of being in the specific boards, the wedding board, wedding number one and wedding number two, we put together a dashboard where she can easily search by vendor. So in this, what I did first is I connected the board. So here's connected to wedding one and wedding two. You do need to keep in mind, depending what plan you're in on monday.com, the amount of connections. And you can see here that I'm searching by Shira Flowers. So let's say I have a call with Shira Flowers and I want to review the details of every event that I have with her. So here I simply entered Shira Flowers and you can see that here on wedding number two, she's my vendor here. And if you scroll over for wedding number one, you can see that she is my vendor here. And obviously I can clear the search. So depending on what information I need to pull about my vendors, I can pull it simply from this dashboard. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, click the like button below. Make sure to subscribe so you can receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com.